you know, all this stuff. Hello, Mr. Samuel. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm okay. How old are you? I am 29. All right. So what are we talking about? Okay, Mr. Samuel, I just heard you um, say, you know, if we just give men what they really want, then we will be able to mm -hmm. um, be married and have a good life with the man. I disagree. Um, you have I'm any children? A, I do. I have, I have a son. Uh, and were you married? What, was I married when I conceived him? No. Okay, go ahead. All right, so I disagree um, because I'm a social worker, so I'm I'm in the helping field, and I was just got out of a long term relationship. Um, and before, well, when I was in the relationship, he would tell me, you know, okay, I want to go back to school, I want to pursue my degree, I want to finish, you know, well, I want to finish my degree. So I thought, like, okay, great, let me come up with a plan on, let's see how we can get your degree. Let's see what type of money we got to put in for you to do this. But when it came down to it, that's not what he really wanted to do. So it's- Hold it's on, my... hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you judging all men based upon what you're talking about? I'm not, but- Are you I'm... sure? Are you sure? I'm because not... you said you did, okay. You say you disagree, but I allowed you to speak and you spent the better part of a minute describing your situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and like I was saying at first, like I'm a social worker, so I work with a lot of women. Um, and I work mm -hmm. with a lot of, and mm -hmm. I work with a lot of single yeah. women. Uh -huh. But do you ever get the father's side of the story? No. Thank you. I, I when, when I I'm say- sorry, I hold on, hold on, ma'am. You get one side, the three sides, hers, his, and the truth. And guess what? I can pull up video after video of women breaking the law, lying, and females believing it. 74-year-old man in Idaho Springs uh, was tasered, framed, and stroked out because his neighbor, who was drunk high and had multiple felonies, lied and said he hit him. Go look it up, guys. And that guy didn't get anything. That, and you know what the female cop was over there? This, this old man, they tasered him in his own home planted evidence on him and they were more concerned with the woman who was drunk and high so uh women tend to believe women's sob stories and you cannot be an intelligent person and tell me just because you're a social worker hearing one side of the story knowing you're a single mother predisposed to having a heart for women that you're getting a balanced picture logically no. logically tell me that's what you're doing no, what I, what I'm saying is, I I'm not only am I a social worker, I am a female, and I mm -hmm. do work with I do work with mm -hmm. a lot of single women that mm -hmm. I have a seen. A lot of single women who choose to marry before they carry, do things out of order, and you don't get the father's story, right? I, I'm speaking about dating, Mr. Sam. No, ma'am, I'm speaking about. You're trying to set the table in a bullshit way. Do these women in social work come to come in here and they're married women who have children as a result of marriage and their husbands are still around? Some, yes, sir. Some, what percentage? One in four black women were married. Careful. Um, married about six percent. So ninety-four percent of these women aren't. Yes, sir. So when you say some, I don't understand why y'all do that. Some, if your kid came home and said, mom, here's my grade and he gave you an F minus. He said, boy, you didn't get nothing. What did you do? You got an F minus. I got some of them, right? You got six right, but you got 94 wrong. You'd be like, oh, okay, so you got all right. You already starting off wrong. And I'm gonna tell you in your relationship, you were wrong too. Let me tell you why. Because you said he decided he wanted to go to school. So something like that. He wanted to go to school. And immediately you pulled out your dick. And immediately you pulled out your dick. You, and immediately you pulled out your penis. You started figuring out what to do and how to this and how to that. Da, 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 da. That ain't your job. 
It was for him to figure it out. He just said what he wanted to do. Did he ask you to go do all that? Did he say, I want to finish school? Did he ask you to go do all that? I hear you. Thank you. Put up your deck. So, I mean, just saying, many of our women, you're listening to 94% of women by your stats who aren't married, who are living at a level where they need social work. And you expect to hear good stories about men and you don't even pay attention and you don't listen to the father's standpoint. Well, I tell you what, Miss Social Worker, why don't you go interview the fathers to understand what they're dealing with with these mothers because they can't all be angels. Yes, sir. And another thing, are you saying that men are not consumers? Where in the world, if you give a market what it wants, does it not buy it if you can afford it? Well, that's even with me. With if if I go to a if I go to dealers, if I if I go into dealers and I get in the dealers and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy this perfume. Like I got my mind say I'm gonna buy this perfume. But if nobody's actually selling it to me, or if I don't feel like I want to spend my money in this store, no, kinda, I, I, I'm you, not you gonna do it. Excuse me, man. You changed it. You, see what you did? If I go into Dillard's and I already got my mind made up and they don't have it, or I don't Not have the money. Don't excuse have me. It, they don't excuse me. To me. Uh, man, I want you guys to understand this is what they do. This is how their logic works. I said, where do you go if you give a market what it wants and it has the money to purchase and it doesn't buy? You just made up a story where I'll go to Dillard's and I got my mind made up. And that's the problem. Most women don't buy what they should buy. They they buy they they buy the motherfuckers they make babies with and come into your office needing help with. That's what they do. Instead of shopping at Dillard's, they should have been they should have been somewhere else. Man, you're putting the problem on men. There are not enough men. You're saying that men would not make a lot why, okay then why let's, let's play it the other way then why would men if women were offering men men in mass in general what they wanted why would these men choose to remain single i think greed i i i, I really do i think greed i think you know uh i i can get something from her but let me see Kid, what, what she has to offer. Let me see, see if it's just a little bit better. See, guys, what you, see what you're doing? You see, women think because everybody will fuck them, they think men have a, a free sexual option. How does the average man have greed in the sexual marketplace? You know how hard it is for most guys to get laid? 30% of, excuse, me, never, excuse, me, never, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 30% of men, 30 or under, report not having sex. 30% of men under 30 are virgins. But you can have somebody like Gabrielle Sidibe. And what, what do women say? Somebody will fuck her because somebody will. Women think there's something called attraction symmetry. They think just because they can go out and offer their vagina to the market, they know somebody will take it. If I walk out and offer my penis to the market, somebody will. But will as many people, if I, how about this? If you go in a room of a hundred men and say, I'm clean, I got no diseases. I just want to hook up one night stand. No, no string, no attachments. Out of a hundred men, how many think you're going to smash? If we got 30% of virgins, then No, I... no, 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 you mixing things. I, you, you, no, don't play games with me. Put your hundred men in a room, 100 men, not 30% not virgin, just 100 men. How many gonna smash? I don't know, Mr. Sam. Really? Just give me a number. Heterosexual men, no, no, you wanna have sex? You clean, you're not, how many men you think will smash? Maybe 80. All right, and if, I, and if I put 100 women in a room with the same kind of man, average man, how many women you think going to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 60. Guys, that's the problem. They think, excuse me, look in the comment section. This is, the, I understand, man, no, I, when it's over. Women think it is easy for men to get sex. as They think it's just as easy for men to get sex as it is for them. 
because women only think about when they talk about the sexual marketplace you talk about the men you're interested in not a hundred percent of men if 60 percent of men were out here anyway so no that number is high i would say closer to the best pickup artists the best Pickup artists, the guys who have all the game, who study this stuff, report a 10% close rate. 10. And these are the guys who are the game masters. Okay. So you're saying that if you offered men an opportunity to get, to, uh, women were offering men what they wanted and they didn't have to be in the game anymore, you're saying they would stay in the game because of greed, implying they could get more. Yes, sir. They and, don't get and, it, guys. And they don't and, get it. They don't get it. They, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, ma'am. Ma I just told you that makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. How? How is? How can? How can guys? If the thirty percent of men aren't having sex, why would they stay in the market if they were getting what they want from a woman? To gain, to gain more. More of what? What are they already getting if they're virgins? We're not talking. We're not no. talking about the third. No, 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 no. We're going to talk. No, we're, yes, we are because they are part of the 100. And see, that's the point. This is so foreign of a concept. No offense, man. I really mean no offense. But your mind can't even wrap your head around the concept. It doesn't even compute with you. It's like, well, I don't want to talk about that because that's so far outside of my life. And all the men are like, what are you talking about? That's the real world. You can't get rid of the 30. That's there. So if 100% of men are out there and 30% under the age of 30 aren't having sex, if you gave men what they wanted, which is just a fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, childless companion, women were saying, okay, the majority of the majority of us are that you say men would say uh instead of taking you and going off and having consistent sex in a relationship i would rather stay out here dating spending my money time and opportunity for the possibility of sex the possibility we know all men are not spending their money on women to have Damn, I don't I don't I don't really give a shit about the money aspect. See, you 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 you've that's lost argument. No, no, no. But 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 the thing is, I'm not trying to be funny. That's not the point. The point is a bigger point. The point is you have just demonstrated why there's such a disconnect. You ladies have no idea what it's like to be a man. You have no you are so disconnected from us. Because all your life is spent around talking to women and listening to their stories and everything else. And when I tell you about what's going on with men, she still th you still think that, well, th that's like this. That's like this. Okay, change it from men to women. You're hungry, right? You ever been to a restaurant and uh, there was a wait and you're hungry, right? Yes. All right. And there was a, this two hour wait and the next closest restaurant 40 miles away. Okay. There's going to be a wait there too. Sure. You sitting there waiting. And then they come along and say, well, we, we can sit you and your, we can sit you and your guest, not at your favorite table. We can sit you at this booth or we can sit you at the bar. And then they, right now, or you can wait two hours. What do you do? I'm going to go sit at the bar because I want my Thank you because wait. human beings are Thank you, and that's exactly what men are doing. If you give men what they want, how they want it, they'll sit at the bar. They won't wait to go have a chance to sit in out there or go to another restaurant. Thank you for making the point that you understand human beings operate on incentives. Mm -hmm. That's how men operate too. Men will say, if you give me what I want right now, the, oh, I don't need the, I'll take, I'll take the bar. The bar is a woman giving men what they want. They won't go out here and say, well, I'll, I'll try for a better seat. Does that make sense? That's, that's, that's a restaurant, of course. We, we're going to move fast. Holy with a restaurant. shit. But Holy if, if, shit. I'm, but if a man wants to go see their ma favorite, ma Mr. Ma ma Samuel, ma no, I ma no, no, I'm, you're going to let me talk. That's my show. But no, you're, you're acting like 
Do you understand why people use sports analogies to explain the complex concepts? Mm, that's do you? I, I do, yeah. Because people can relate. I use the restaurant analogy because the sexual marketplace seems to be outside of your ability to relate, but you can relate to a restaurant. And now you're going to tell me no, those things are different. Mrs. Tammy, when you use when you use your analogy, when you use your point, when you say if you walk in the room and a hundred men in there, how many do you want to have sex? You took the thirty out of it. So when it comes to my if, I, no, if, no, 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 I said if you walked into a room with a hundred men and you weren't and you said I'm down to fuck one hundred of you, how many would smash? And you, but you took the thirty percent of virgins out of that one. No, ma'am, that's the se you. Okay, that's the sexual marketplace. There's a millions, and even okay, let's take it that way. Even if it was thirty percent virgin, those virgins would fuck you. <laughs> if you were offering free pussy to a virgin, no cost, no zip. Are you crazy? So it's not, it's, it's, and then that, there goes to show you again, your other point is invalid when it comes to dating. No, it's not. Guys, this is, this, I want you guys to understand. To I, I really, I, I'm going to upload this. This is really female logic. This is really what it is. This is really what it is. She thinks she's, she thinks she's really making points. I am. I am Mr. Samuels. I, I I wholeheartedly, I really feel like men are greedy. Men are really out to get, it's, it's, it's to the highest bidder. Whoever has the most value, whoever parents, whoever family comes from the most fortune, that's the woman that wins. I have worked so many places before I became a social This is why women shouldn't be in charge of nothing. Can, can I finish? Oh, don't, don't do that. Okay. This is why women should be in charge of nothing. I'm serious, ma'am. You're, you're talking about a, a out, of, out of out of men, 100% of men. What percentage of men are you talking about? I'm talking about 75% of men. So, so ma'am, the 75% doesn't even line up with the 30% of the virgin. You can't be greedy in a virgin. But you just said that if I was to walk in a room and the thirty percent of virgins was there, the virgins would have. Ma'am, do you understand? Do you understand an example and a close? Ex okay, see, there's something called like a, an example where you're putting like a little test case over here, and then there's the real world. You're 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 an educated woman. You should be able to bounce between these concepts. You're trying to make it all the same thing. And this is what I told you guys. Men's minds are like waffles. We can compartmentalize and logically move through things. One, zero, one, zero, open, close, on, off. We can do that much easier. Women's minds are like spaghetti. Everything touches. The logic runs through their feelings. That's why she keeps saying, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. Because to them, it's all one stream of consciousness. So to her, she really believes she is just on this logical path. And she doesn't realize that all the men are sitting back saying, you're talking about a small set of men extrapolating it out to all. Men are greedy. How can men, the average black man in this country earns $42,000, okay? That's $21 an hour. How can a man who's average earner be greedy in the sexual marketplace? because they date women that have money. So when they date women that have money and they date women that comes from a family with money, the average black woman in this country earns $37,000. Okay. So fully 50% of black men, 50% earn 42. 50% of black women earn 37. 74% of black women earn less than $50,000. And you're talking about these people who come from families and money. 80% of our children are from single parent households. You are talking about the top 10%. And you're talking about it like it's 100%. The numbers are against you. The numbers. Oh man, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Just, just understand what I said. Okay. You are I talking about women with money. I understand. 74% of black women earn less than $25, $25 hours or less. Would you consider $50,000 to be money? No, absolutely not. So by, by, 
9% of black women earn $75,000 or more. Nine. What do you consider to be money for a woman? Their Angel. range. Their range. You just said 75000 or more. So you're talking about 9% and I said 10 the it doesn't matter. I just the, said you're the, talking the con, about the, the top concept. 10% of they, they, she don't get it. I said you're talking about the top 10% of women as far as earnings. Like 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 all the like the average guy is going after 9% of women. Do men choose women based on money first? Yes. Absolutely. Oh my god, I was that's the perfect question. You, the perfect, yes, absolutely, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Where are you absolutely. from, man? Where are you from, man? I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi got them variants. I swear <laughs> to God. I'm from they, Mississippi. When you poor, you when people are poor, they honestly believe, especially when you're poor minded. So men pick women based on money. Yes, absolutely. Status. Yes. No, man. Oh Jesus Christ! It's not. Even, it's not. Even, I don't even want to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'll make you famous. You're gonna become famous, man. Because men pick women based upon looks first. In the comment section, gentlemen. Ma'am, were you raised with your father? I was. Do you have any brothers? I don't. Okay. And you're old again? 29. You've been wrong on fully about 80% of the things that have come out of your mouth. And you haven't, and no, it doesn't matter if I use facts, data. You can go, and you're a social worker, go pull it all this for yourself. You're saying that men pick women based upon the money. Okay, then that's a question. Why do you have women like Jill Scott? Uh, what was that woman's name? Down here in uh, Georgia. Um, oh. Ran for governor. Stacy, whatever her name is. Oh, yeah, the lady with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. why, why, why do you have these women who are chronically single if men pick women based upon money first? Why do, why do black women report the more education they have and the more money they make being less married. I don't know. Well, according to what you say, men pick women based upon money first. Yeah. But according to the numbers, they don't. Stacey Abrams, successful woman. She has money. Where's her husband? Gabrielle, Gabrielle Citibank. She had to go get an average looking white dude. I, do you do you want to retract that statement? I don't. I, I I stand on it and I believe that um I mean that's just some women. I mean, some women that you're not you, you Oprah. Oprah has a man. Oprah's she, unfucking married. She's not married, but she has money. Exactly. Thank you. But she could be married if she No, she wanted. couldn't. No, she couldn't. Oprah cannot be married to Stedman if she wanted to. <laughs> First of all, I move Oprah to the side because Oprah, there's a, there's a question about something. Man, why? So what do men choose women based upon? If women choose men based upon money, what do men choose based, women based upon? Men choose women based upon money. Women, choose, women pick men off, solely off love. God. Ooh. And this is a social worker, y'all. I, I I mean, I'm to the point to where I don't even want to make any jokes because this is so sad. It's the truth. You're, no, ma'am. You are a danger. And you advise other women? I do. Absolutely, yes. I do. Absolutely, yes. Ma'am, you really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Why? It's the truth. I wouldn't lie to you. It's the truth. Because you shouldn't be advising anybody. 
This woman actually says men pick women based upon money. Then if that's the case, why do women who have PhDs and MBAs and everything else, why aren't they married? And especially in our community, because we have the most, we got the most, we got the most educated women, right? Yeah. Okay. Why then? Why are one? Then why do we have the lowest marital rate? Sometimes we one married. in four. One in four black women will marry anybody. <laughs> not just black men. Not just black men. One in four black women will marry in their lifetime. So you can't make it a black man issue. If men, it's, it's pick, excuse me. You're not gonna fucking put this on black men. I will destroy you if you try that shit. I said one, okay, as long as you don't try that, we can have the conversation, but one in four black women will marry in their lifetime. If we have the most educated, meaning making more, making money and education, then why are they the least married? If men choose women based upon status. Some women are very busy. They have busy schedules. Some educated women have very busy schedules. So they really don't have time to date. Some. Talk Some. to me about, excuse Some. me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't want to talk about, see what you do is when you start losing the argument, you start to deflect to the minority. Talk to me about the majority. 50% of the women in, in question were educated. But yet two, one in four were married. Don't talk to me about some. Talk to me about the majority. Why are one in four marrying? And actually the marital rate drops as black women go up in education and up in income, which is an up in status. Why does marriage drop? Don't tell me about the ones that are some, they're too busy. If men well, pick women based on status, if women, if men pick women based on status, why are these higher status women more unmarried? I believe that they get to the point where it's like I've been single I've been alone by myself or while they're getting their education they're 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 dating but it's not it's, it's just not a connection shame so insults guilt and the need to be right ma'am you just contradicted your own point and you won't stop you said men pick women on status, and I'm saying why are the women that have more status less married? You said men pick women based on status. You. And you have to explain why the women who have higher status are less married. They choose not if, to be. No. They choose not to be after This is your enemy, gentlemen. Execute order 66. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm going to be honest. This conversation ranks right up there with that smile conversation that I had. Black women not wanting to smile at black men. This is this is this is one of the saddest conversations I've had with a with a black woman in my life. And the fact that nothing I'm saying, no, none of the data, none of it, is moving you off of your erroneous, false, demonstrably erroneous percent. You're just doubling and tripling down. You haven't opened your mind and say, well, maybe, well, that doesn't really make sense. Or maybe that's what I thought or I felt, but you know, let me go back and you, you, you doubled and tripled down. Do you have a son or a daughter? I have a son. Holy shit. Let me ask you something, okay? And I, and I mean no disrespect, I really don't. I really don't. But are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? I'm not. Well, even if we were talking as just two educated people, ma'am, do your feelings trump facts? No. 
So if you feel something is one way or another and facts are presented to show you the opposite, do you change your mind? Sometimes I have to, yeah. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why would you not change your mind? If I have this just good feeling, if I just had a strong feeling, I won't I won't waver off of it. I don't, I don't so see. if facts impartial you will and you can be proven factually that something is correct true right you're saying that as an educated woman that there are times where you'll sit back and just ignore the facts based upon a strong gut feeling yes is that how you're going to raise your son off my morals yes that's not morals are you going to raise your son to look at facts that he can verify and prove scientific scientific method or whatever and then say I'm going to go off my strong gut feeling is that how you're going to raise your son yes we have another young black statistic y'all and I'm serious. People think I hate black women. And I do this to show you the sickness in our community. You really believe this is right. This is. I'm gonna just, I don't even need to say anything else. The world is different for men than for women. Women can, women can get away more with doing things that way. You do realize this is why so many young black men are in jail because they go off on their feelings based upon their facts. Mm -hmm. But then you sit around and turn around to the same group of women talking about black men can't produce. They don't make enough money to provide. But you, ma'am, are the kind of woman that raises a boy to go off of his feelings. His strong gut. How do, how do you think that's going to set your son up to compete with men of other races? I don't know. I haven't thought about that. How does your son? 12. When the fuck do you think you should start thinking about it? I'm not being funny, man. I'm trying to talk to you seriously. You're raising a 12-year-old black boy. And you're telling everybody in here that I'll raise him to believe in his gut over things that he can see is true. And you want him to go out into that dangerous world. What's going to protect him if his senses and his logic does it? What's supposed to protect him? morals, values. Mm -hmm. Feelings are not morals. You keep calling things morals. These are feelings. You're not, you're supposed to, you're not supposed to emotionally respond. You're supposed to intellectually react. And you guys wonder why we have so many emotional young black men because this is their mother. And they make it sound like a virtue, morals. This isn't morals. It's illogical feelings based thinking. What's what's wrong with what's wrong with having emotions? What's what's wrong with acting? When off it is opposite to observable, verifiable truth facts. When two plus two is four, and you still say, I believe it's three, because that's my morals. I'm serious. What Do you not understand that? I get that. So what's the question? 
no question, Mr. Samuels. I was just listening. No, I'm asking what's the question? Because you, you, you're saying what's wrong with having morals? Man, morals is right or wrong. Facts are prove or disprove. Two plus two is four. What is the right or wrong in that equation? It's not three. You say you said three. No, it's four. That's the right. It's four. Yeah, but if you if your gut told you this, that's uh, that's that's not all the picture, man. You've said it several times that you can look at something and think or believe something, and then you can be given facts, data, statistics, things that you can verify and prove yourself by whatever method, scientific method, an abacus, whatever, and you can come up with the same conclusion that this is right, this is accurate. And you said there are times where I'll, I'll dismiss it. And I say, what? If I feel strongly. Through life experience. I'm, I'm going to be I mean, honest, ma'am. I'm going to say something that's going to sound rude. I'm not trying to be rude. But this is that down south, old slave, Negro, just, man, this isn't about life experiences. This is about facts. If you can, you can, and here's the thing. You're looking like you're just like, you just can't understand. You're raising a boy to think like you. Men don't get the same benefits and the same uh, benefit of the doubt. Is his dad in his life? Peace. But you take the leadership role in what he does. Not all the time. Okay. Well, um, how we got here is this woman actually said that she thinks that men choose women based upon looks and status. And then men choose women based upon love. Then we broke down the numbers of uh, 74% of black women earn less than $50,000 and 9% of black women earn over $74,000. So I said the women she was talking about was in the top 10%. She disagreed and it turned out they're in the top 9%. And even, even given facts that you can go look up on blackdemographics.com has been collated and sorted by everything else. She still said men choose women of a higher status. And I said... Well, then why do black women who report to be the most educated and da 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 report as they go up in education and income, the marital percentages go down? That flies in face of your theory. And she still said, I'm right. You realize at no point you have you changed anything you said in the face of better data. Mm -hmm. How do we get anywhere with women like you? If you're not willing to change your mind in the in the evidence of in in the in when you sit down and have a conversation and the man presents better data and women like yourself refuse to change your mind, how do we get anywhere? I don't know. I, I'm 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 gonna stand on that. That's what I believe. Okay. Are you okay? Did, okay, so if your son was dealing with a woman mm -hmm. and he was right based upon everything that's observable, verifiable, facts, figures, data, statistics, and she believed like you, she's just going to stand on what she believes. What would you tell him to do with her? Would you tell him to stay with her, continue to work with her? What would you tell him to do? I would tell him to, you know, if he feels like he want to stay, then continue to work with her. But if he can't, he feel like he couldn't get through to her and she wasn't Well, no, 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 ma'am. There's no, there's no getting through. You've already tried. And she says, I'm going to stand on like you're doing. If she was mm -hmm. taking your stance, what would you tell your son to do with her? If he didn't want to be with her anymore, I would say no, him. no. It has nothing to do with want to be with her. This is a this is a matter of so, somebody has to lead, somebody has to follow. Choices have to be made. See, she's trying to deflect because she doesn't want to say the truth. If she's going to stand, with, you're at an impasse. He's over here, she's over there. A decision has to be made. She's not going to be budged. She's not going to budge. She's not cooperating. She's not agreeing. Because she doesn't agree? She doesn't agree, and she and she doesn't agree 
based upon her feelings. Doesn't, she doesn't agree. It's not that she doesn't agree based upon any of the facts or the data. It's solely based upon her stringent belief. What are you going to tell your son to do with a woman like that? Because if he's supposed his wife, his is is the woman he's with. What are you going to tell her to do with? Him? This is wife. What what? Are you going his girlfriend before he becomes his wife? See what what do you tell your son to do with a woman that will not follow his lead, will not change her mind? based upon anything that's verifiable and provable. If it's only she makes decisions based primarily on her feelings, what do you tell your son to do? Do you tell him to stay or do you tell him to leave her? Stay? What? I, just because a this woman- is where this, this is where that Maury Povich shit where boys are going and Maury recognizes that you're not the father and these mothers tell these boys that you're going to stay in these, that, that child's life, you've been there for the first two years, and we're going to raise it. This is the pathology. Thank you, man. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jesus H. fucking Christ. This has been one of the most watershed moments in anything I've ever done. That is it, people. That mother said she would tell her son to stay in that shit. And you guys think we make this up?